We now have approximately 2% of the historical natural population of African penguins. That's the population that was recorded in the late 1800s. There have been several threats to the penguins' egg collection. People collect their penguin eggs to eat. And more recently, the major threats have been habitat encroachment by people and then also the major depletion of fish in the sea and so a lack of food for the penguins. We do have a major problem with there not being enough fish in the sea and that affects the whole life cycle of the penguins. They, they don't find enough fish and then they can't breed. Our major concern is still overfishing and depleted fish stocks. And it's the sardines and anchovies the penguins naturally eat, which are also heavily fished by people. I'm the clinical vet. My job entails looking after the health and the welfare of the birds. I evaluate them and we make diagnosis and treatment plans and then I oversee their treatment until they're released again. And sometimes we find some seabirds and they just need to be fed or treated superficially and healthy enough and they can go back into the wild. And sometimes they can be here for almost up to a year. If they aren't waterproof enough, then we can't release them into the wild because they need to swim 80% of the time. And if they're not waterproof, then they can get very cold and they can get hypothermia, which can lead to their death. Most of our penguins come in as chicks, which have been abandoned by their parents due to molting. And so to help bolster the natural penguin population, we take those in. But the ones that I have to deal with usually have wounds. Wounds or low body weight. The wounds can be caused by, by predators, they can be pollution or um, collisions with boats. The great thing about penguins is they're just really tough. So they can overcome broken bones and huge wounds and bites by sharks and uh, very successfully heal and grow and be able to be released back into the wild where they, they'll still live a proper life.